Hey everyone, Clarky Shy here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm back, and today I just want to talk about Black Ops 4, if it will be better than Cold War Zombies. Now, I know I've made videos on if Black Ops Cold War Zombies will be better than BO3 and Infinite Warfare. So, I decided to do on probably one of the most hated Call of Duty Zombies games of all time, Black Ops 4. Now, you're probably going to say, oh, anything could be better than Black Ops 4. But yet again, there was some stuff in Black Ops 4 that made it great than other games. So, I'm not saying like. Like, Black Ops 4 was better than BO3, that's personal opinion, at the end of the day, personally, I like all games for what they are equally, so I really can't say anything, to be honest. So, I'm just explaining, like, the great things that were in Black Ops 4 that did make it good, that are now transferring into Cold War, or some of the stuff that was gotten good in Black Ops 4, but not transferring into Cold War. So, let me start off with the most and simple one that is coming back to Cold War. Is carpenters are repairing shields. Now, as you know, shields are an ankle war. It's going to be the armor system from Warzone. Again, I'm not going to get into the whole uh, armor and being in Cold War zombies because I really don't have an opinion on that yet until I have a feel for it. So, yeah, I'm just letting you all know that. And server pause, as of right now, that doesn't seem to be a thing with ankle war. And even like you're probably saying, oh, it probably is, but it hasn't been announced. Even if like it, that was the case, there like I don't know what's going on because when Server Poise was uh, like initially being speculated around since like maybe BO3 unless I'm wrong, people were going all over the place, and we only got it on Black Ops 4 after like DLC 2 or DLC 3 within Alpha Omega. Unless I'm wrong, maybe in DLC 1. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but as of right now, Server Pods was a big help within the Zombies community, and Ancient Evil took a long while. I remember Dalek, Conan, Pizza, JC, and Chopper were hunting the, uh, the Ancient Evil Easter Egg literally for 9 hours straight, and they were so tired. Well, at least the UK lads were like Pizza and Dalek. They were really tired, and they were just wish Server Pods was in. So, honestly, for when D Machine releases, if server pause is in there, that could be a great help for when it comes to easter egg hunting, solving puzzles, and just taking a break when needed. Because honestly, when it comes to hardcore easter egg hunting, when you're hunting for an easter egg, it can really put on a lot of stress. Um, but I'm just saying, server pause would be a big help, but that doesn't seem to be in Black Ops 4 as of right now. So, preset perks and stuff, that is not going to be in Black Ops uh, Cold War Zombies. Now, I'm not saying that was a good thing. I personally didn't mind how the perk system worked in Black Ops 4, but all I'm letting you guys know is that that is not going to be within Black Ops Cold War Zombies. It's going to be the simple perk system that we all know and love, and the perks that are going to be within Black Ops Cold War is Elemental Pop, Juggernaut, Quick Revive, Stamina Up, Speed Cola, and Deadshot Daiquiri. Now, you're probably wondering, what about Double Tap? So, as you know, Double Tap in Black Ops 4 worked by you pack punching your gun normally and then repacking it another four times. This is the same system, but a tiny bit better. In Black Ops Cold War, all you need to simply do is pack punch it three times. You pack punch it normally and then you pack punch it another two times. So, you go three times. It's not like where you need to pack punch it normally and then pack punch it another four times. So, or unless I'm wrong, where you do need to pack punch it normally and then you need to repack it uh, another way. So, Either way, it is still better than Black Ops 4, especially the fact that in Black Ops 4, you actually had to use some of the ammo mods for the Easter eggs, like Firebomb for the Danu step with a 9, or bloody uh, the Kilowatt step or the Brainwatt step with an Alpha Omega. In this case, in Black Ops Cold War, they've made it better to the point where you, when you're repacking, you can actually choose what one you want. And that was like a big thing that I was really happy about when it came to repacking, which I'm not really the type of guy to repack weapons in like Black Ops 3 or 4, but if it, there's an easter egg step for it, then I will definitely use it. For instance, in our case, it was Black Ops 4's firebomb and stuff, so yeah, that was really it to be honest. But apart from that, I am really glad that is a feature within the game. The next thing I want to point out is... Uh, the elemental wonder weapons now apparently there's different types of wonder weapons within the map So take the kraken for example from void to the spell There's four different types of elements now The reason why I'm specifically bringing up void to the spell and not like the rise of dragon origins is because in their Treyarch blog post for Cold War Zombies gameplay They did mention as an example void to the spell so I just thought I'd bring it up quickly No, all in all that's really all I can talk about that the stuff from Black Ops 4 is coming back and what's not coming back and stuff and I think the big major thing that is not coming back is the chaos story so for people who like the chaos story just letting you know i don't think i'll be coming back i still have a hope that it will come back in like maybe a future game but as of right now we haven't gotten any confirmation or anything that is coming back in this next game this is a continuation of bo4 tag years after 
just stuff from the Dark Aether is looking into the campaign slash wide player universe now. So yeah, that's why there's multiplayer options and campaign characters within zombies this year. But yeah, so do I think this will be better than Black Ops 4? Black Ops 4's one of its problems on launch was uh, definitely uh, the blue screens. The blue screens on launch was definitely not the best and no one really enjoyed that and honestly I didn't enjoy it myself but if we're not including blue screens apart from that everything was fine but moving on from that if Black Ops Core has a good launch and they're already on the ball for updates as soon as the game releases for Australia because Australians will be getting it first for people who've pre-ordered it then we're already on a good track. Do I think blue screens will happen on launch? Yes definitely. Now, on launch there will always be glitches, there will always be blue screens, but compared to Black Ops 4, there shouldn't be that many, because Black Ops 4 had a lot, and I get it was on launch and the game just released, but the thing is though, they never fixed it for such a long while. It took like a week to almost two weeks, so, and again, they've already got a zombies team when the game releases, they've already got it to the point where if there's anything wrong with the game, they're already ready on the ball to fix it, so... That's honestly showing a good sign, so if anything, if there's no blue screens and stuff and the game feels fresh, it feels cool, and everyone's fine with Easter egg hunting on it, then we'll be fine honestly. But do I think it'll be better than Black Ops 4? Definitely. Now the reason why, I'm not saying that because Black Ops 4 did get so much hate, well, kind of the reason, but kind of not. And But the whole reason why I'm saying it is, is due to the fact that there was just a lot of features in Black Ops 4 that people did not like. And they've taken some of those features away, but they've took most of the bad features from Black Ops 4 away, but took some of the good ones in Black Ops Cold War, like for instance, carpenters repairing your shield and stuff. Or they took some stuff from Black Ops 4, but made it better to the point where it would be good. There was a lot of features in Black Ops 4 that did have a lot of potential to be good, and Black Ops Cold War is definitely doing that, bringing in those Black Ops 4 features that did have a lot of potential and making them good for what they deserved. So yeah, honestly, do I think it will be better than Black Ops 4? 100% all the way. But yeah, again, I don't know if I would make this into a mini series leading up to the release of Cold War Zombies. As of right now, we're like 10 to 9 days away. So if anything, if I was to make another video on this, I'd probably make a video just talking about will Black Ops 2 be better than Black Ops Cold War? Because I did say I'd make a video talking about that. Because Black Ops 2 is a bit skeptical uh, when it comes to Black Ops Cold War, especially with the community. But I'll maybe save that for another video. But I just thought I'd bring up Black Ops 4 because Black Ops 4 is definitely one of the most hated Call of Duty Zombies games ever and I'd thought I'd just bring up my opinion on do I think will it be better than Black Ops Cold War. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please subscribe, leave a like, click the notification bell, always to, to, to the channel. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you guys think. Do you guys think Black Ops Cold War will be better than Black Ops 4 or do you guys think it will be the opposite way around? Base guys, Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video live stream, boys. And goodbye!